hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel this is a really get ready with me everything is all over the place but this is the end result um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to like comment and subscribe oh and if you're new here hi welcome and if you're coming back thank you so so much for the love and support i really do appreciate it but i have to go i hope you enjoyed this tutorial um to prime my eyelids i'm gonna be using my la girl pro conceal in the shade cream beige i'm just gonna put it all over my lid um you can actually use eyeshadow base but this concealer also works because it's um very light so it can pick up the pigment of the eyeshadow for my eyeshadow i'm gonna use my makeup revolution reloaded velvet rose eyeshadow palette and i'm just gonna put it on the screen and show you guys um the shades that i used because girl i was running late and my boyfriend was on my neck telling me that i need to finish so yeah this is not really a tutorial this is you watching me get ready so yeah to be honest i wasn't even sure um about the look that i was going for so i was just winging it but i just took this brown and i put it on the outer edge of my eye and then i just took this orange this is the orange that i use i don't know if it's orange or what. whatever color this is um i just took it and i used this as a transition shade normally i'd put my transition shade first but i just wanted to try something new and i'll probably never do it again because it's just a whole lot of mission um, I had to go back to the brown and put it again on my outer edge of the eye because it faded away. I don't know why, I don't know what was the reason, but it's just too much work for me. I'll never do it again. My method works perfectly fine for me. So this part wasn't meant to be a cut crease, but I took, uh, I was using another eyeshadow palette and it just didn't work out. Like this look, yo, it was just like, yo the ghetto it was just amazing so i had to fix it so i took concealer and actually put it on my lid as a like as if i was cutting my crease but i really wasn't this is not a cut crease uh, and then i just took my blending brush um all my brushes are from this kim and all my makeup is from this kim it clicks it's drugstore you can get it at any local pharmacies um so yeah. i just took uh, that blending brush the eyeshadow blending brush and then i just blended the brown into that concealer just so that all my shades can look seamless nice and flawless and then for my lid i'm just gonna take that rose gold champagne <laughs> shade i don't know what the shade is but i'm gonna use that shade on my lid and just blend everything together and then i'm gonna go back to the same palette and use the black just to draw a line um because i don't know it just like i can never put eyelashes without doing this because i feel like my eyes are just so big the eyelash feels lonely i don't know how to explain it but it feels it feels like i don't know it's too thin i don't know how to explain it but sure and then i'm just gonna top it up with my cream gel eyeliner from revlon and then i'm gonna go back to the palette and use that black because i just want to set that eyeliner so it doesn't move the reason why i'm actually even using this eyeliner it's because i want that line to be pitch black like i just love this liner honestly so i just had to use it and don't drag your eyes like i just did because you're gonna get wrinkles but like i said guys i was in a rush and this wasn't meant to be a makeup tutorial it's just how i personally do my makeup sometimes i even forgot a lot of steps it happens but you wouldn't say you wouldn't tell you know and then i'm just gonna use my nivea cream to um, moisturize my face take your time make sure that your face is moisturized it's very like you get there's no way you can put on makeup without putting a moisturizer like this can even be used as a primer but i still have to prime my face because i have large pores and i'm gonna use my maybelline instant pore eraser
Then for my foundation, I'm going to use my Infobil 24 Fresh Wear by L'Oreal in the shade Golden Sun. I'm going to mix it with my Fit Me Maybelline Poreless Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade Golden Caramel. Only because one shade is lighter and one shade is too dark. So when I mix it together, I get my perfect shade. And then I'm just going to use my Damped Beauty Blender to blend it out. Also guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. This natural light isn't working for me anymore. I have to get a light. I'm actually going to do that this weekend. Probably if I get it, if I get the light that I want. Um, if not, I have to order it online. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. But please be with me. I'm trying. Your girl's trying. To cream contour, I'm going to use my um, Revlon Colorstay Life Proof 24 Full Coverage. Is it full coverage? I don't know, whatever. In the shade Mahogany. And you guys already know how I contour my face. Um, I have a video um, based specifically on how I contour and highlight and set my face. I'll link it up here. If you guys are interested, you can go watch it. Because right here, I was just in a rush and I just wanted to finish. And then I'm just going to take my brush from Wet n Wild and blend it out. This brush is amazing this brush is just amazing i love it And then for my concealer to highlight, I'm going to use my Instant um, ATH Eraser Multi-Use Concealer by Maybelline in the shade 80 Buff. I'm not sure, but I think it is 80 Buff. And I'm just going to put it, obviously, under my eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. I love this concealer. Like, this concealer is actually one of the best. I'm not going to lie. Like, this concealer the la girl concealer the revlon concealer the nyx because you know i die for nyx nyx is my girl the nyx concealer um these concealers are actually a few of the best um especially drugstore and affordable they work very well they have a lot of lot of shades and I feel like it just accommodates everyone. The only thing I don't like about this concealer that I'm using right now is the applicator. I feel like, I don't know, I'm just not up for this applicator, but I love it. I love it. Like always, I use beauty blenders. So I'm going to use the same beauty blender that I was using. This is the Damned Beauty Blender. I got this beauty blender from Clix two years ago guys i have other beauty blenders but i don't know i feel like new beauty blenders are a bit too hard like i just don't know what to do but, and then like always i'm gonna go back to the cream contour and just make sure that everything is blended out i always say to get a flawless face make sure that you blend blend like a blending is the main key when it comes to makeup because if you don't blend it right it's just not gonna look right I don't know what was happening with my skin this day, but my skin wasn't giving it. It wasn't giving me the things that it normally gives me. But it's cool because right now I'm treating it. So the next time y'all see my makeup tutorial, it's going to look flawless. And then I normally set my face before I put on any powders. Um, I'm going to be using my Lasting Fix Spray by Maybelline. This setting spray is amazing. Like this is the only best drugstore setting spray that I would ever recommend. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear a bit of noise. I don't know why these people are drilling. Like this always happens to me. Ugh, it's so annoying. But to set my eyebrows, I'm going to use my gel brow um brow gel <laughs> what am i saying brow gel in the shade clear and this time i didn't conceal my eyebrows at the top because i forgot but i love the way they look so i'm gonna do this step all the time and like i said if you haven't watched how i sit and whatever for my highlight and contour i'll link it up so make sure to check that out to see why i use this but i'm gonna use my pressed powder um to see it where i highlighted before i actually 
bake even though i don't bake i just set it as well but yeah whatever and then i'm just gonna take my highlight and control pro palette by nyx cosmetics and i'm gonna take that shade um hello and i'm just gonna set my cream contour it's very important to set your creams because you're gonna melt that makeup is gonna run down your face you're gonna look greasy and you're not gonna look cute And then I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Banana Loose Powder and I'm gonna sit under my eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose and my chin. Basically, wherever I put concealer, I'm gonna put this product. And then I'm just going to go back to my contour brush and just make sure that everything is blended together and it looks flawless. Like I said, like I always say, I don't know how many times I'm still going to say this, to get a flawless face, you have to make sure that everything is blended out perfectly. And then for my under eye, I'm going to go back to my Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose Reloaded Eyeshadow Palette. I always mix the words all the time, but whatever. I'm going to take that black shade, put it on my waterline, and then I'm going to take the transition shade or the brown. I'm not sure. Let me look at this clip. I'm going to take the brown and just make sure that everything is blended out and I'm just going to smoke it out. And then for blush, I'm going to take my Revlon blush in the shade Rose Balm or Balm Rose. Um, this blush is very pigmented. And I'm going to place it closely to where I contoured because I just want that effect. It just enhances everything. And then for highlights, I'm going to use my Essence Highlighter in the shade Hypotonic. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, girl, but whatever. <laughs> um, I'm not a fan of highlights, honestly. I If I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. It's not going to make or break my look. And then I'm also going to put it um, on my brow bone because I just want everything to look, you know? For my lips, before I put on lipstick, I'm going to use my Rose Tinted Lip and Cheek Stain um, 
obtained by benefit you can get this from benefit um standalone stores or it gives i think it gives sells benefits products i'm not sure and then i use this because i feel like my lips are just a bit too dark so this is just gonna give me the effect that i want the pink um natural lip effect And then for lipstick, I'm going to use my Stay Fast Lipstick by Yatli London in the shade Red. Honestly, I feel like this is the best drugstore red lipstick you can ever find. I don't know any other best um, red lipstick that matches to this one. Honestly, I really don't. It dries matte. It's pigmented. It is the red that every girl needs one of the reds that every girl needs this is very very close to like your mank and stuff but i i stand the sweet lipstick like i just feel like this is the one this is the one In our corners, I'm just going to use the shade, one of the shades in the um, Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. And then I'm going to use my highlighter just to top it up and make it more pigmented. And then to set everything in, I'm going to use my Lasting Fix Spray by Maybelline. And this is the look. This is the look that I created without anything planned. I didn't know what I was going for, but I love how it turned out. Don't forget to subscribe for your girl. Like this video. It really helps me if you like the video. Um, comment and share. I will see you guys in my next tutorial or vlog i love you guys and thank you so so much for the support we are reaching 5000 i love you guys so much